hello you guys. Today on Science, I'm back outside. Today, we are going to be seeing if things will sink or if they will float. So, to be able to do that, we have to compare the densities of the different objects. Density is how much space something takes up compared to the amount of matter in the object or substance. It will float if it's less dense than than the substance that we put it in. So our substance today is gonna to be water. And I'll have a bunch of different things that we are going to test to see if they will sink or they float. So let's take a look at a rock really quick. A rock is pretty heavy for its size. It's kind of small and compact. Everything is, is together, pushed nicely, and it's quite heavy for its size. So with that being said, I am going to predict that this rock, once we put it in the water, is going to sink to the bottom. What do you guys think? Alright, let's test it out. Here we go. Yep, just as I thought. It went all the way to the bottom. So, a rock is going to be more dense than the water. And that means it's going to sink. So, for my activity, you guys can try this at home. You guys don't need nearly as much water as I do. All you guys are going to need at home is just a little bowl. Fill that up with some water, find some objects like a Lego guy or a rock or a penny or a bracelet and test them out. See if they think, if you think they're going to sink or if they're going to float. So let's get started. I've got my little list right here of the different things that we are going to test out. Before I drop them into the water, I want you guys to make a guess to see are they going to sink or are they going to float. So the first thing, the first thing that we're going to test is a hair tie. One of those bracelet hair ties that I'm sure you guys all have. We are going to put it in the water and we're going to see if it's going to sink or if it's going to float. What do you guys think? Float or sink? Alright, let's see. Let's see what happens. Would you look at that? It sunk all the way to the bottom. If you guys picked sink, you guys were correct. Alright, next. Let's look at a dry erase marker. What do you guys think? Sink or float? Let's test it out. Do you guys see it? It's floating right on the top of the water. So if you guessed float, you would have been correct. All right, next up, I've got a Lego guy. You guys think he's gonna float? What do you guys think he's gonna sink? Here we go, let's test it out. He floats. Legos float. Next up, I've got a bracelet. This one says, Dowel Owls. Hoot hoot, go Dowel. What do you guys think? Is it gonna float? Or is it gonna sink? Let's see. <laughs> that one float or sunk all the way to the bottom. No floating on that one. So if you guys guessed sink, you were right. I was wrong. I thought it was gonna float. All right. Next, I've got a little piece of candy, an Andy's mint. Let's see. What do you think? Float? or sink. If you guessed float, you were correct. Next up I got a little pin. I think it's a Pokemon. We're gonna see if it's gonna float or sink. What do you guys think? 
There we go. Straight to the bottom. If you picked sink, you were correct. Alright, the next item on my list is one of the squishy eyeballs from my store back back when. What do you guys think? Float or sink? Well, let's test it out and find out. Float. If you guessed float, you were correct. Alright. Next up, I've got Thor's hammer. It's quite heavy, it's quite small. I know what my guess is. What's yours? Straight to the bottom. Definitely sinks. All right. I've got two more things. I've got my football and I've got an egg. Let's find out what happens. All right, we're gonna do the football first. You guys think the football is gonna sink or float? It's, it's a little heavy, but for its size, it's not too heavy. Let's see. <laughs> Just as I thought. Float. If you picked float, you were correct. Next up, and finally, the egg. Make your predictions now. What do you think? All right. Let's test it and find out. For a moment there, I thought it was gonna float, but it went all the way to the bottom. It sunk. So that was the egg. All right, you guys, that was science. I want you guys to try it at home with your bowl of water and a few things. See? what sinks and what floats. I'm gonna leave you with one more thing. I'm gonna put up a worksheet that will show you guys how to make a little paper boat. You guys can make anything out of paper and see if it'll float or if your boat will sink. All right. I'm gonna put it in the water and we are going to see what do you guys think here I go. Yay! My boat floats. Does yours 